Season 4 of Star Wars The Clone Wars opened with a three-part arc about the Battle of Mon Cala, a ferocious conflict between the loyalist Mon Calamari and the Separatist Quarren, the two native sentient species of the planet Dak. If you've watched The Clone Wars, and if you haven't, you should fix that, you're probably familiar with this arc. But what you might not know is that the Battle of Mon Cala was part of a much older war, one that predated the Clone Wars. The Mon Calamari and the Quarren had been at each other's throats for millennia, and the conflict between them was one of the fiercest local feuds in the galaxy. In this video, we'll be telling the full story of one of the galaxy's most devastating interplanetary conflicts. Attention, Sergeant on deck! The Mon Calamari and the Quarren evolved on the same planet, an ocean world of many names. Many outsiders referred to the planet as Mon Calamari, Calamari, or Mon Cala, but the natives, the Quarren in particular, called the planet Dak. It was a particularly remote world, further from the core than hut space or the shadowed worlds of the Sith. Even during the time of the Empire, it was on the borders of wild space. Because of this, the planet's native sentience developed in near-complete isolation from the outside galaxy. Dak was home to a wealth of species, with the most prominent being its two dominant sentient races. The fish-like Mon Calamari evolved in the shallows around an island archipelago and dreamed of exploring the stars even before they had developed civilizations. They became a highly intellectual people with many prolific artists, scientists, and philosophers and built great cities on the ocean's surface and in the shallows. The squid-like Quarren, on the other hand, evolved in the depths. While the Mon Calamari's world was full of light and was fairly safe, the Quarren lived in darkness and contended with fearsome deep-sea monsters on a daily basis. They were a proud and conservative people, with many rigid traditions and an instinctive distrust of the unfamiliar. They built their cities in the darkest depths of Dak's oceans. From early on, both the Quarren and the Mon Calamari knew they weren't alone on Dak. There were actually other sentient species on the planet, some of which made contact with the Quarren and the Mon Calamari. The Mon Calamari discovered and formed an alliance with the massive Whalodons early in their civilization's history, promising to protect them and respect their habitats, while the Quarren became aware of the Moapa, a species of simple jellyfish-like creatures that, like the hive-minded Bilars, could form sentient entities when gathered in large groups. For millennia, however, the Mon Calamari and Quarren were unaware of each other. This changed around 4,775 years before the Battle of Yavin. Around then, a Quarren hunting party stumbled upon a team of Mon Calamari divers exploring the depths. This meeting had the potential to be the beginning of a great interspecies friendship. Instead, it was the start of a war. The Quarren were suspicious of the Mon Calamari and attacked, leading to an uproar in both civilizations. The Mon Calamari were taken aback by the Quarren aggression and judged their planetary neighbors to be brutish and unsophisticated. The Quarren, on the other hand, were immediately suspicious of the Mon Calamari and saw their incursions into the depths as a threat. Fearing the Mon Calamari would destroy their way of life, the Quarren declared war. The Quarren Mon Calamari War lasted for over 200 years and consumed the entire planet. The Quarren proved far more aggressive and capable in combat than the Mon Calamari, and the ferocity of their attacks repeatedly took the Calamari by surprise. But the Mon Calamari had better technology, allowing them to overcome this disadvantage. Eventually, the Mon Calamari's superior technology allowed them to get the upper hand over the Quarren, and by 4,500 BBY, they had won the war. The Quarren reluctantly admitted defeat, and as they rebuilt from their losses, many of their leaders began preparing for a counterattack, bitter over their humiliation. This greatly concerned the Mon Calamari, who feared that a second war would lead to the extinction of the Quarren. In the end, the Mon Calamari chose to take radical action to prevent further conflict. In a decidedly sketchy move, they kidnapped thousands of Quarren younglings and forcibly raised them alongside young Mon Calamari, introducing them to Mon Calamari culture and putting them through the Mon Calamari education system. They then sent these Quarren back into the depths once they came of age, hoping the indoctrinated youths would create a more peaceful Quarren society. 
Obviously, the Quarren elders were pissed off about this, and when the youth reintegrated into Quarren society, they distrusted them, seeing them as brainwashed puppets of the Mon Calamari. The young Quarren, on the other hand, saw their elders as uncultured and barbaric. As is the way of things, the elders eventually died out and the younger Quarren took control of the depths. They established relations with the Mon Calamari, and the two species at last formed a sort of shared society. Together, the Mon Calamari and the Quarren developed space travel technology, at last fulfilling the dreams of many Mon Calamari. They even developed their own hyperdrive technology, which they used to colonize other nearby star systems. But the peace didn't last. For a while, relations between the Quarren and Mon Calamari were good, but as the centuries went on, the Quarren began to distrust the Mon Calamari again. This wasn't without merit either. The shared society the two species had built was not an equal one. The Mon Calamari dominated the shared government and culture, taking most of the better jobs and relegating the Quarren to menial labor. As the Mon Calamari dreamed in their surface cities, the Quarren did all the hard work in the depths, mining minerals for the Mon Calamari ships and cities. As the Mon Calamari grew prosperous, the Quarren were largely left behind. As the two species colonized the stars, many of their earliest colonies were exclusively inhabited by Mon Calamari, occasionally with a few Quarren laborers brought along to do the dirty work. On these worlds, the Mon Calamari established relations with new species, such as the Iron Proids of Florn and the Vubgri of Gabu. The Quarren ended up establishing their own colonies on uninhabited worlds, with the most notable being on Minsuin, Pamantz, and Buchich. Dak was discovered by the Republic in 4166 BBY, but it didn't join galactic civilization until a few centuries later due to both internal instability and wariness of instability in the Republic. The Quarren, being distrustful of outsiders, were staunch opponents of joining the Republic, but the Mon Calamari eventually prevailed in that debate, and their little pocket of space became the Calamari Sector. Of course, this renewed peace didn't last. Tensions grew during the Republic's final decades, this time threatening to turn it into an all-out war. Hoping to prevent conflict, the Mon Calamari elected a Quarren named Tykes, who was popular in the depths, to serve as the Calamari Sector's senator. This backfired, however. During the Separatist Crisis, Tykes became corrupt and ended up making deals with Thalassian slavers who began pillaging the outer colonies of the Calamari Sector. When this came to light, Tykes fled to Coruscant and declared the secession of the Calamari Sector, seeking refuge in the nascent Confederacy of Independent Systems. Understandably, this caused chaos back on Dak. The Mon Calamari were strongly against the secession and declared Tykes' declaration of secession invalid. Some prominent Quarren, including replacement Senator Tundra Daumia, sided with the Mon Calamari on this issue, choosing to back the Republic, but most Quarren supported Tykes despite his misdeeds. Tykes stoked the resentment the Quarren had for their Mon Calamari neighbors and turned it into separatism. He founded the Quarren Isolation League and the Free Dak Movement, which advocated both for the secession of the Calamari sector and the dissolution of the shared Mon Calamari government, allowing the Quarren to go their own way. As with many local conflicts, this brewing clusterfrack became wrapped up in the Clone Wars. The Quarren Isolation League received backing from the Droid Army and started a war against the Mon Calamari, who received support from the Grand Army of the Republic. Two battles were fought on Dak during the Clone Wars. In the first, the Quarren Isolation League was defeated and driven off-world, but Separatist sentiments persisted in the depths of Dak. This led to a second battle between the Mon Calamari and Quarren later in the war, after the assassination of the Mon Calamari King. The Quarren nearly won that battle, but after their separatist allies betrayed them, they ended up allying with the Mon Calamari and driving the Seps off-world for good. This alliance was an uneasy one, however. Many Quarren still resented the Mon Calamari and quietly supported Tykes and his government in exile. Some, including powerful chieftain Nosor Ri, supported the Mon Calamari King Li Cha in the hopes that it would lead to a more equitable society on Dak. But Li Cha ultimately changed little after taking the throne. The Quarren remained largely second class on their own homeworld, and the Mon Calamari victories during the Clone Wars did nothing to soften their resentment. Additionally, though the war on Dak was over, conflict between the Quarren and the Mon Calamari persisted on their colony worlds. 
The Mon Calamari controlled parts of Calamari space, became a republic stronghold, but the Quarren colonies joined the CIS. After their defeat on DAC, the Quarren Isolation League and the Free DAC movement withdrew to the Quarren colonies, where they became major players in the separatist war effort. Both sides became major shipbuilding powers, with the Mon Calamari producing warships for the Republic and the Quarren doing the same for the separatists. Most of the CIS Navy's destroyers, including the Invisible Hand, were produced on Permant or Mintawin by Free DAC volunteers, as was the Malevolence. During the Outerim sieges, the Republic conquered the Quarren colonies and destroyed the shipyards on Permant and Mintawin, crushing the Quarren Isolation League and the Free DAC movement. At the end of the war, the Republic became the Galactic Empire, a change that was initially met with mild support from the government of DAC. But the Empire had plans for the Calamari sector. It saw the Mon Calamari as a potential threat and wanted to enslave them, both to keep them underfoot and to put them to work building up the Imperial Navy. When the Mon Calamari realized they were on the Empire's hit list, they prepared to resist, activating DAC's planetary shield and refusing to budge. But their resistance plan had a fatal flaw. It didn't take the Quarren into account. The Imperials covertly reached out to a number of disaffected Quarren, promising them revenge against the Mon Calamari if they handed over DAC to the Empire. One of the Quarren they reached out to was a worker named Sigur Tells, who ended up sabotaging DAC's planetary shield and allowing the Empire to subjugate the planet. Both the Mon Calamari and the Quarren were enslaved by the Empire. All the peoples of DAC suffered bitterly under the Empire, slaving away for the benefit of the Imperial Navy. But from this hardship came resistance, and at long last, genuine unity. Around the start of the Galactic Civil War, a former Mon Calamari captain named Jial Akbar started an organized rebel cell on DAC. The Empire retaliated by destroying three Mon Calamari cities from orbit, but this only intensified the resistance, which blossomed into open rebellion. The final blow came when, unexpectedly, the Quarren joined the Mon Calamari during a crucial offensive, fighting side by side with their former foes. These Quarren were led by none other than Segor Tells, who had come to regret his role in the Imperial Conquest and convinced his people to make peace with the past. Zack became one of the first planets in the galaxy to throw off the shackles of the Empire, and one of the galaxy's fiercest rivalries came to a long-awaited end. So, that's the story of the Quarren and the Mon Calamari, but what do you think? Are there other intraplanetary conflicts you'd like us to talk about? Let us know your suggestions in the comment section below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.